Hi, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Latham Golf Academy. I'm going to do a little bit of a what's in the bag. It's been a while since I've done one. I've got a few new additions in there. Plus, I'm actually playing golf this weekend down at the Belfry. Um, so playing two course PJ National and also the Brabazon, which is obviously famous for the Ryder Cup uh, venue. So really looking forward to that. A couple of days golf. Weather forecast looks great. So I'm really excited to actually get out on the golf course and play a bit of golf and a bit more of a relaxed atmosphere. A few of the lads. Um, so it should be quite good fun. Um, so just what I thought I might take you through what's in the bag. Got, as I say, got a few new additions in there. Um, some really exciting ones. I'm sure you guys would be sort of pleased to have a little look at. Um, and let's let's sort of jump in and see exactly what I'll be using this weekend. Okay, so we'll start at the top end with a driver and then we'll work our way all, all the way through the sort of bag. So um, driver is, I'll just move my bag out of the way, driver is still in the bag, um, still using the Ping G400 LST. It's a driver that stayed with me for quite a long time now, to be honest, and I'm still really enjoying it. I just love the feel of it, love the look of it. Um, I've got it actually in an Evolution Speed uh, 757 shaft in an X-Flex. It's a, it's a little bit shorter than standard. It's an 8.5, set at 8.5, and it's that low spin. And I just love the way it sort of sits. I love the control I get with the club, um, and just love everything about it. So um, it's probably it's probably not the longest driver I've sort of ever used, but that doesn't worry me. For me, driver is, is just obviously trying to get that ball in play, and it tends to be a little bit of a weakness of mine, maybe with driver. Um, maybe just don't hit enough fairways as I'd like to. So if I get anything that gives me a little bit of control, gives me a bit of that confidence, is a, is a big thing. So let me hit a, hit a tee shot the driver. Yeah, that's a lovely shot. And that's one of the reasons why I put this, or well, this has stayed in the bag for so long. I sort of get that ultimate control that I feel I can do. It gives me a load of confidence. I sort of know the flight I get. Uh, when I say it's not the longest club in the bag, that wasn't too bad, was it? That got over sort of three, I think 3.0, 3.05 areas there, which is more than sort of happy with. Good decent sort of spin numbers there, get that around that sort of two and a half thousand, that spin number. Um, but I just like, as I say, the control of it, that shorter shaft does help me massively. It gives me that confidence that I can get that little bit of control. Love the feel, love the flight I get with it. So. As far as I can see, that's going to be staying in the bag for uh, a bit to come. Okay, so we're going to come across one of the first new additions in the bag. And many of you seen from a recent or past What's in the Bag videos, a three wood hasn't really sort of stayed in my bag. It's dipped in, it's gone out. I've always opted for something else off that tee. Um, but I played a few weeks ago and I took this out and I did a review on this and I really, really enjoyed it. And I love the look of it and it's the Ben Hogan. Um, the G, what did they call this? I forgot what they actually call it. G53, I think you call it. Um, but it's just an absolutely stunning head. I mean, just when I put that down, it, it's quite compact. It's quite small, jet black, very clean, sits absolutely square, beautiful rounded shape on it. And I like the way the ball flies off it. it, it you know, it's not the most confident, inspiring club I'd put put that down by the golf boy you think oh, I've got to hit the middle there but the flight is absolutely stunning so let me get one away for you here and hopefully I can I can hit that flight for you there we go it wasn't the perfect of strikes but look at the accuracy of that that's nearly a line ball lovely so 263 wasn't the longest of hits i cut that little bit in that heel side but the sound of it the, the feel of it is fantastic i'll absolutely love the look of it even i think even if i hit that bad i just want to keep putting it in the bag because i sit down and think oh god yeah i so want to hit that well and um, just really enjoy the look of it so i've got that in a hazardous smoke uh, 6.5 so it's that sort of low spin shaft it's a 14 degree on the head we've got a little speed slot in there which always brings back a lot of memories when he used to have the old ben hogan uh, persimmon woods back when i was a junior um, and again i've got that in a mid-size uh, grip so really happy with that at the moment that's going to maybe probably stay in the bag i don't know we've have seen some new three woods that um g410 lst three what I, I, I did a review the other day that was quite nice so maybe a little bit more testing through it area but that is a beautiful looking club and that's going to be staying in the bag for this weekend so just before we carry on, just a little note there. So the head covers I've got with my logo on, MNG, uh, were very kindly done and sent to me by Craftsman Golf in the US. So you go and check those guys out. They do bespoke um, personalised head covers. 
Uh, fantastic quality, lovely leather there, very traditional sort of look, that fur inside there. And obviously you can have your logo and, and whatever you want on the, on the top there. So go and check that website out there. They're, those guys are really good and the quality is fantastic. Right, so moving on and another new addition. And you'll have seen my review video just recently gone on my channel of this two iron and it's gone straight in the bag for me. I love it. So new Mizuno MP20 HMB, the hollow head in the two iron and what a little beauty this is. As you've seen for the video, it sort of, it did everything I wanted it to. It was a lovely sort of penetrating flight, which I really, really love. And it's a flight that I've grown up with um, as a kid, uh, playing one iron, two irons. Um, so that flight I'm sort of used to, and I, I'm, I very much sort of like that. And I can feel I can get this with this uh, particular club. Got that stinger sort of flight happening as well, which is a shot I would tend to try and play a little bit more, especially when it's a little bit more windy, just knocking it down, and it did it exactly as I wanted to. So that's a big, big sort of box ticked. Plus then when you couple that with putting it down by the golf ball, it looks beautiful down by the ball. It's absolutely stunning. So let's get one of these hit for you. So this is two iron lofting at 16 degrees. And that's just bulleted, absolutely bulleted it's just the flight i love it's just that real sort of strong boring sort of flight that i get with that and i know it's more forgiving because we've got that hollow head construction so we're going to see that little bit of forgiveness so i'll use this probably a lot off the tee try to hit those fairway finally depending on how the driver's going if he's not going too great i might just drop back to two iron maybe those sort of long par fives get that ball chasing into that green again that's going to be a great option so i've got this fitted with a kbs s taper 130 so it's a steel shaft but it's in that um, blacked out steel so it looks really sort of stealth it looks a bit like a graphite shaft but it's actually steel it's in an x flex a little bit longer again mid-size a line grip on there two degrees up right on the lie and that's sort of specced in for me so new addition mp20 hb two iron that's going to be one of my favorites i think right so moving into the irons have i got a new addition in the bag with the irons you'll have seen previous videos and recently well a few months ago i put in the new wilson staff model blade irons in the bag and i absolutely loved them since then we've seen a lot of introductions of new um, models out from mizuno mp20 range looks absolutely stunning see the tightly 620 mbcbs again they look absolutely amazing don't they so there's been some really good product releases blink ping blueprint irons beautiful looking golf clubs but you'd be glad to hear the Wilsons has stayed in the bag. I absolutely love these. And, you know, there is a lot of really good clubs out there now, isn't there? But I think there's got to be something very special to knock these out of my bag. Again, I just love the look of them. Very sort of classic, simple blend, uh, clear sort of back section there. We've got a little bit of um, history there for me. It brings back so many memories again as a kid, looking in pro shops, looking at racks of sets on the, on the clubs, you know, with this sort of little fluted hosel there. We've got a little bit of a bore through happening. We've got these little diamonds that sort of just frame the grooves on the face. All those things just sort of bring back so many memories to me. But then when you put it down by the goal, it's just a beautiful classic iron. You know, hardly any offset at all. Sort of that medium thin top line. And to be honest, it's not, a scary blade it's 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 quite a forgiving blade i would say um so i've got this set in i've got these in a four iron through to pitching wedge again kbs uh tour i've got a little bit lighter in these shafts i've got 105s in so a little bit lighter maybe what i'd like oh not what I'd like but what i'm used to sort of playing and um, just felt like i could feel the head a little bit more through the swing it just felt a little bit easier um x flex again slightly longer couple of degrees upright and mid-size grips again these are tall velvets on these um so let's hit uh, seven and i've got a four iron as i say four iron through to pitch and wedge there i've just lost the three iron out bag i have got a three iron which does look quite scary if i'm being honest but uh drop the three iron out it's probably a club i don't use massive amount Yeah, and they just feel fantastic the sound the feel off the face the flight is controlled we know these are more true lofts, so they, I do get a lot of control on these as they sort of come into land, So, which is a good thing. I like that. The turf interaction is fantastic with that uh, sole, the thinnish sort of sole that we've got. Yeah, and they feel absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, as I say, it's going to take something very special to knock these out of the bag. Beautiful forged iron, classic iron from Wilson. Um, so they're definitely staying in the bag for now. Okay, so that's the irons done. Let's move into the wedges again. A fresh lineup in my wedges now. So 
Recently we've seen the launch of the new Ping Glide 3.0 wedge um, and I got a 50, 54 and the Ping I2 58 degree. So I've actually put the 50 and the 54 in the standard heads, the more sort of uh, traditional shaping in a way. I put those straight in the bag. I thought they were superb. I thought they looked really good. The feel off the club face was, was absolutely lovely. Um, and then we did some sort of testing with wet and damp um, sort of golf balls and the, the results were, were pretty astounding really weren't they on the on the way the this hydro pill sort of finish disperses that water and gets that little bit of control and that really sort of brought me into these clubs a little bit more so these have gone in the bag 50 as a gap wedge 54 as a sand so the 50 coming in at 12 bounce standard sole and again the 54 is a 12 bounce standard sole which i feel quite happy with so i'll hit a couple just with that 50 degrees so this is generally around that sort of so 110 to 120 if I'm pushing it, 110 on that sort of smooth swing. Again, beautiful sort of shaping around that golf ball. Uh, got this with a glide grip, so it's got those three sections where you can grip all the way down that, that grip for those different lengths of shots. Just quite a smooth, smooth sort of 50 degree wedge there see loads of control that comes into sort of land stops very very quickly feels great i love the sole on him as well it's not forged but to be honest you've got that elastomer sort of insert in that back section there so it gives that sort of nicer sort of a little bit more muted sound softer feel that sometimes you associate more with that forged um sort of club so 50 degree gap 54 sand ping glide 3.0 wedges and another brand new, there's loads of new additions here, isn't there? <laughs> another new addition to the bag, again, recently just done a review video of this, and it's the TaylorMade Mill Grind High Toe Big Foot Wedge. Very, very impressed with this. And sometimes you might not associate the big foot maybe with a better play in terms of that big sole anti sort of duff sort of club in a way but it just felt so easy to hit off various lies um, and to be honest I fall into that little bit of a category sometimes where I do get a little bit sort of diggy on some shots around the green so this wide sole this 32 millimeter wide sole 15 degree bounce so it's a big bounce on it just keeps this club down and coming back out through that turf so it just felt fantastic and much more forgiving on those real sort of tight sort of lies You've got that heel and toe relief on the on the obviously the heel and toe there, so you can start to manipulate it a little bit, but it's more a club that I don't really want to start opening up. Six degrees, it's plenty of loft, you know, so I don't need to start really sort of opening that up. I'm just gonna play this quite square in its setup there. And again, I'm, I'm you know, if I'm getting in some fluffy stuff, I know that big sole will help me. I'm playing at the belfry. It, it's, it's not real tight lies around there, it's more of a parkland course, so there'll be some more fluffy lies. So I think this wedge will really sort of help me out on those particular shots. So this will be just in and around the green for me. Uh, just gonna play a little 50 yarder. Um, again, it's a little bit of a quirky look with that high toe, grooves all the way to the end. I don't mind it in that copper finish, it looks quite nice to be fair. It's more as it felt coming through, it just sort of just collects off there really nicely feels fantastic and yeah i'm quite looking forward to getting that on the golf course I've, I've only done my testing on the on the practice ground just knocking it around a couple of holes out of bunkers so i've not actually played a proper round of golf with this so quite interested and quite excited to put that in the bag and see how that performs for me but really liking that high toe big foot wedge from TaylorMade. right so that's the main part of the bag done but obviously we've got to remember we've got the most important club in the bag the putter okay so putter wise i am still using again nice MNG logo head, head cover from Craftsman Golf. I am using still the Ping Sigma G Tyne putter, which I really like. So the two prong section there got fitted for this when I went down to the Ping factory at Gainsborough in the UK. I went through a fitting process and this is the one that came out for me. And I really like it, to be honest, it stayed in the bag. Since then, I have actually had it reshafted with a stability shaft from Breakthrough Golf. So some of you might have seen the review video I did. I popped this on there, so I cut my shaft. Um, fix this on um, got it with a super stroke um traction grip with that little bit of weight in that uh, uh, end of the golf club which i quite like that thickness just to help to keep the wrists a little bit quieter but really like the weight and to be honest i really like the stability shaft there's a lot of mixed comments on my review video there it's a load of rubbish it doesn't do anything and it's a personal preference i think but i think since i've done that video and i've been, and i've played with it a few times it does feel quite stable and i feel like the strikes seem to be a bit more solid off the putter face 
Um, so it stayed on there and I, I really enjoy it. So got this uh, actually in a red dot. So this is actually one degree flat from standard. Okay, which you wouldn't think being six foot five, but it just gets me into that position. You know, when I get into my setup, it just uh, gets the, the, the sole of the club more flush to the ground. Uh, and I've got it actually in 36 inches of length. So it's actually longer than um, standard 35 degrees. So 36 is quite long, but again, it just gets me in my posture position. So I really like that. I really like the look of it. I really like the balance of it. The shaft, I feel, definitely feels more stable to me. Um, whether it actually makes a difference, I don't know. It's very hard to sort of measure that, but it gives me a bit of confidence and it does feel better. So it's staying in there for me. So ping time, Signa G, put it. That's against it, going to stay in the bag. Can't see that being replaced at the moment. Okay, and then swiftly moving on to the last thing we're going to take a look at is the golf ball and it's the TaylorMade TP5 X ball. So made a switch from Strix and Z Star, which I used for many years. And I, to be honest, I really, really enjoyed. Um, but I, I, I threw the uh, TaylorMade in the bag, had a little play around, a little bit of testing with them and they felt fantastic. So um, it stayed in the bag. I like the sort of look of it. I know it sounds daft, it's white, it's got dimples, but some dimples are different shapes. Aren't they? I think to me, it sounds strange. You put it down, some dimples just look wrong in a way. It doesn't look like a proper golf ball in a way. So it, it looks right, <laughs> um, little things, you know, and all that. Uh, it looks right, and but it feels great. It's, it's lovely around the green. That's where I sort of I would tend to try and choose a ball more is around the green, off that putter face, those little pitches into the green. How does it react? How does it stop? How does it feel like it comes off the club face? So I think when you're going out choosing a golf ball, you, I think I would always start around the green and then move sort of back. Taylor made TP5X golf ball, definitely stay in the bag. That's very much enjoying that, and that will be uh, in use this weekend. And hopefully, I won't lose too many. <laughs> Okay guys, so there's an insight into what's in my bag. I'm look, really looking forward to the game this weekend. Obviously we've got some new additions there, so I'm excited to get those out on the golf course, you know, the three wood, especially that two iron, and obviously the new wedges there. So really excited to get those out on the golf course and see how they perform. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, comment down below, any thoughts of why I've got my bag? Why have I not got this in? Why have I put that in? Um, let me know your thoughts as always, comment down below. Um, if you enjoy the content and you haven't subscribed, please just consider hitting that subscribe button. Very much appreciate it. Ring the bell if you do, so that as soon as the video goes live, you will get notified. You'll be one of the very first ones to watch it, so you will not miss a thing. Follow on social media platforms, both Instagram and Twitter. And the handles there are at MNGolfCoach. And hopefully, we'll catch up with you all very soon.